But let me ask you one thing. Earlier when I was telling you about the shoe incident on the subway, right? Not even one second into the story, you wanted clarification. I said there were some boys, and you wanted to know if they were black. You wanted to know. I just said there were some boys, and you wanted to know what we look like on that train, me and those boys from the pigment-oriented standpoint. So, <laughs> I, I didn't spell that out. You did. You needed to know. So, before you get all crazier in the now, don't accuse me of not noticing how the world works. Racially, I mean. Because you made the same assumptions about that story that anyone would. And that is because we are all the same. Not because we want to be, but because we are. And the thing that freaks you out, the reason you're still here, because I know it's going to freak more than just you out, is that some guy can sit in his middle class apartment and imagine a life that's not his. A life that you think you have ownership of. <laughs> the thing that freaks me out is, that I think, we're all starting to think we have ownership of it. And I don't quite know what to do with that. But I'm not wrong about it. I'm not completely wrong about it. At least not yet.